I think I've made at Patuxent Riverkeeper a lot more progress than most at trying to create an inclusive environment because I felt the bar was very high, particularly for a person of color. To not have people of color involved in the movement itself would be suspects. <laughs> like, what's wrong with this guy? And he can't talk to the community like the one he grew up in and you know lives in today. So I think that's something where we're a standout. And I believe that's because we made the open call some years ago in the Bay Journal that we're going to take off the blinders and that we're going to not only take people as they are, but we're going to have deeper conversations with the communities we serve in order to find out how we can serve. We're not going to dictate to these communities, this is what we do, we're not the river cops. We're... And so those transactions, I think, have altered not only the board of Patuxent Riverkeeper, right? In fact, when I made that announcement in the Bay Journal, we had two board members quit because I think they saw me as racializing. Hmm. Actually, I, what I thought I was doing was having a kind of an open heart. We want everyone to feel welcome to. And, and this came about because people of color had come to me at our events and said, you know, we don't really feel like we're welcome here because the white folks want to talk to themselves among themselves about stormwater and all this stuff that's on their minds. But when we try and change the subject, we're considered as off message that our status in these movements sometimes means that we have to defer because these guys have all the knowledge, all the, and that's where I talk about domain. That's why I call it domain. It's a sense of space. Hmm. I think there's a sensibility that these are movements that are essentially white but they're welcome to people of color. So in a sense, like I said, we're already starting out on a foot where we're, that's why I call a footnote or an afterthought. Mm. That's the DNA. We can't change that about these movements, but I think these movements can be much more honest and inward looking in terms of their own internal culture. What is it about us that makes black people stay away in droves? Mm. That's the question I think people need to ask themselves. These are perfectly good missions. And we know black people are smart enough to understand what that mission is. So how come they take a pass?